Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to tea dye. Super simple. First thing you need is the items that you want to tea dye. I'm going to be doing this shirt and also this apron that I made. Um, the apron, I intentionally left the edges unfinished so that I can fray them because I want this to look old and ratted. So that's the goal that we're going for that. I'll probably also add some paint and show you that also um, just to make this look old and dirty. And then you will need any type of tea. It can be super cheap because you're just going to be putting it down the drain when you're done. So just any cheap type of tea. Depending on how dark you want your items to be will depend on how many packets of tea that you use. I'm going to go ahead and start with eight. I'll boil that down and kind of see what it looks like. And then from there decide if I want it to be darker or not. Okay, so from here I have my boiling water and I'm going to just go ahead and add the tea bags to the water. five minutes we're going to go ahead and take um, out our tea bags then we're going to take our items that we want to use to tea dye and go ahead and put them into the water And then once we have this completely submerged, we wanted to give it about 20 minutes to make sure that it can soak up that dye um, and that way it keeps the color. So now we'll just go ahead and set the timer for 20 minutes and wait. Okay, now that our mixture has been soaking for 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and rinse it out in the sink and then lay it flat to dry. Okay, so I went ahead and let the um, clothing dry overnight. So you can see what our finished product is with the tea dye. You kind of get some uneven spots, which is actually perfect for this because I want it to look old and tattered. And so you don't necessarily want it to be an evenly stained color. So I really like how that turned out. So with the apron, it's a little bit lighter than the shirt, but that's okay because I had planned on using the paint to dirty this up. So I'm gonna use a variety of different colors. I have, it's called Nutmeg Brown. This one is Bambi Brown, Antique Gold, and some black. And I've just put everything onto a plate and I'm just gonna mix these so I can kind of have a variety of shades. I'm just gonna open it up. Get my sponge a little bit wet. I'm just going to kind of pull kind of creating my own color and then I can take from there. So I'm going to go on the edges and just kind of Now because this will be on stage, I actually want it to be pretty intense because just like um, when you apply stage makeup, it's, it's more than what you would naturally wear because once the lights on the stage come on, it'll wash your face out. So this is going to be the same thing. I want it to be more intense because the lights will ultimately wash it out some.
So, there we have our dirty apron.